we will take charge. That's the National Security Minister's message to criminals, even though the security forces continue to face challenges in the fight against crime. The minister was on a tour of sections of St. Catherine North, which has been under a state of public emergency. Here's TVJ's Herman Green with that report. Those who are firing guns must understand that the state will take charge. Tough talk from the relatively new National Security Minister, Dr. Horace Chang. He and senior officers of the Jamaica Constabulary Force were walking through sections of St. Catherine North where there's a state of emergency. This includes Linstead and Spanish Town where there's usually an upsurge in crime. Usually because Dr. Chang says he has been seeing results so far. Not St. Catherine had a homicide rate before this of almost one a day. Yes, yeah, down to almost zero now because I have a tree that look more like domestic killing. It's a very high population center, thickly populated. Domestic violence is something we will we'll have. You know, would like to reduce it too, but we'll have it. They're all knife killing, you no know, gun killing. Two states of emergency, the second being in St. James, and two zones of special operation in Mount Salem, St. James, and Denham Town, West Kingston, are short-term measures to curtail crime. Despite the challenges in the Denham Town Zoso, where six persons have been killed, Dr. Chang insists that it's being used to re-establish the authority of the state. He says the fear culture in St. Catherine is changing. People are now talking to the police. But I get a sense if we do it right, we'll get the cooperation overcome it. Even some of the detainees, even if they are talking for my sake, they are talking reasonable language. Discussion with the young men were not hostile. And um, they would like to get back on the road naturally, but they understand that we have to take steps to cauterize the criminal activity out here. The bloodletting was harming us in North St. Catherine. The team also toured the new security post and lockup in the division, which he says are in very good condition. The post is fitted with security cameras. The lockup currently houses 39 detainees and has the capacity to house more than 100 persons. Herman Green. TVJ News.